fishing accessory number one, the widget's hat. And two, a ruler. Number three, a vest. Buy a chip in her, a machete, and a chainsaw. That's the start of our season. Sort that out. Mm -hmm. Gotta go in the fishing box. Floats. Floats. Boat. <coughs> Battery's ready. Blakey. Which is hat, machete, chip and hoe. Surveyor's ruler. Chainsaw. Now we've got to find a hard hat and a yellow vest. Look! Heh, <laughs> almost scripted. Now with that, the witch's hat and the railroad infiltrate job sites. Followed by an encoder and a charged up battery. One thing you hear me go over and over is reaction. Technique, technique, timing, lure, lure choice, lures complementing each other. Oh, you gotta respect that. Oh. Oh. Mate. And then that knowledge gives you confidence that wherever you go, you think, oh, there could be one there, go and have a go. Haven't got him. Oh, I missed him again. Got him. Oh, yeah. I'll show you. There he is. There. Then look at this. At my age, walking across these things, how would I have like this fitness or balance if I didn't fish? Because I won't ride a push bike. And you're never going to see me in Lycra. I could play golf, I suppose. But in saying that, I used a big hollow body like this a couple of years ago, slammed it in that corner. Like that bass I caught was better than a hole in one. Way better. They've got the issues with those dogs up there. So I'm going to go on this side. I can fish to the dark and when I have to cut the paddock I can go come across to the main road. If I was a bit earlier, I would just teabag every one of these. Who knows where a predator's gonna sit. Fish around here first before I cross that creek. You know, this is a, say November. You get those big bogan moths come through for a couple of nights. That that would I'd have to have a walker on. Uh, if we get rain, middle of the day when this water turns warms up. These open areas go sensational. But if we get really hot weather, you know, like consistent and clear water, this won't fish as good as the stuff that's got tree coverage both sides. Ooh, that's a cracker. I one of my friends too, so you see the deformed fins. Maybe one of our pets. I think it's because the water temp does get a bit cooler. Now, Mm. You know, another couple of weeks, who cares, but... Mm. That's not that 
bad. That's about 15, 16 degrees. So that'll be warmer than in the in the river. Hey, 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 don't do that to me, buddy. Face person. Yeah, definitely be warmer in the river. Probably the reason why they migrated up. And I tell you, they're only eating little glasses out there. It'd be hard to get a big feed. I'd say 90% of the schools are still in tide or Hawkesbury. It's the middle of winter and we had such a good season. Got some beautiful brim, bass, perch. So I'm trying to put a little video together and show you a few of the tricks that we've been doing. And there's a couple of bass we've caught. It's a mid-July weekend and this is the sort of fishing you're looking at. Oh, don't jump in. Come on, buddy. There's one of them. Probably eight. And 20 are everywhere. This one. What I love about bass fishing is every cast I have could be the one. You know, hollow body mice, every single cast. This time of night, you're working that lure, every single cast, you anticipate that one. Cut you that time. Sit in. I don't want to waste time, so I'll pick one more spot, get there, a couple casts, and then put maybe an eel on, give it a run. One thing over the last few years that has really improved my fishing was when I started fishing blades, I was where I clicked, and then I realised it works for all lures, but when it comes to lures and techniques, one side of the technique is to draw the fish, and the other side of the technique is to make them bite. That's why you hear me talk about reactions. I don't know if there's enough light for you to see, I'll just explain you. Cast out like that, right? Hits the water. And just ripping it back, ripping it back, ripping it back. That's to get their attention, draw them, and then I slow it down. I start jiggy, 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 just sort of hang time, hang time, hang time. Now, if I drew one, the hang time catches it. A good tip if you're unaware of it is that you've got to draw the fish for part of the technique. So stop, pause, wait, and that's for the hook up. You're starting to get some really nice footage. Look at that. How's that for footage? That is a reaction. It repeats itself over and over and over. This little change. If I get eaten alive. GoPro runner because those dogs turn up and rip my throat out. This should make a really good viral video. Oh. In these clips, that's what I hope to uh, put across: is each each one of these lures is used to create a reaction to trick a fish into taking the lure. Thanks.